Hello and welcome back to Yay Basketball, the basketball game show. Monday, February 20th, 2023, recording live from the Yay Studio. I am your host and producer, Michael Padilla. Along with me today, I have one, Bob Aldrich. And I am not a crook. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what we're doing. As well as one, Justin Moore. Oh, hello. God. I guess never mind. I don't mind. have a famous quote for you, okay? Trey. We're back. And I'm not a crook either. <laughs> okay. <God>. Well. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> you, yes. you lobbed it up and they just swatted it down. Which, I know. We're going with President's Day theme oh, quotes. No. Guess not, I'm though. sorry, dude. Oh. Oh. Four score and seven years ago. All right. Thank you so much for joining us, everyone. As yes. always, be sure to like, subscribe, rate five stars, share with friends, and follow us at yay underscore basketball on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Add me on the ground. Last week, we broke down all the trade deadline madness with three new segments, including what was the trade, head-to-head -head 20 questions, and then we got a random call from diehard Dallas Mavericks fan Cal Featherbottom. Uh, really weird. Yeah. Out, out of nowhere. Out of, out of nowhere. Yeah, that... Caught uh, us field. That guy caught us oh, off guard. I for I forgot about the Craigslist. My bad. I, I did put our number into Craigslist ads, so that's oh, on me. He said that he's going to be calling it. back too. He did. So, so well, we, I think, we, I think, we we need to change that number. I think he said he's going to be calling back if the Mavericks win the title. We, I'm sure we might hear from him again, but yeah. we'll we'll see. So. Anyways, that was a great episode, so be sure to check that one out if you have not already. Uh, now, this is the Basketball Game Show, so before we dive into our first game of the day, Justin, can we get an update on the scoreboard and a recap of our picks from last week, please? You can indeed. We've had a change up in the standings. Ooh. Bob, you're in third place with 2,775 yep. points. You took Cam Thomas's over. At 21 and a half. He scored 19. 19. He was right oh, there, dude. Right there. They, I know. I was watching the whole game. Yeah, and since we're starting with the, the losers of the week, Michael as well. 1450 is what you're at after Luca put up 37 <laughs> points because you took his under at 32 and a half. I did. Of course, that's the game that Kyrie doesn't play. He didn't whatever. play two games, so it wasn't just that one. Uh, hey, Trey. Let's talk about the winners. We can. Second yeah. place over here, Trey. 2,850 we big ones. Three days before. Darius Garland's <laughs> under at seven and a half assists. He had... Six. Hey, Oof, cutting it close away. there. Woo. I took Tatum's over at 31 and a half. He had 38, and I'm in first place where I should be. Uh, 3,250 <laughs> points. How far am I behind you, Justin? If you don't uh, 400 okay. points. Yeah, so it's close up Quick top. Man. It's really it's close between the three of you. Yeah, um, yeah, and then there's you. Then uh, there's me. But the, hey, uh, if, if if last month proved anything, I was gonna say let's it's never over till it's soon. over. Oh. And also, I do make the show. So uh, <laughs> if you listening at home want to keep track of all of our game picks as well as chat with us, ask us game questions or give us game I questions. <laughs> Whatever. Hit the chalkboard <laughs> link. Uh, hit the link in the description of this episode to join our chalkboard group chat. It is a fun and free way to support the show. Also, while you're at that link, keep your eyes peeled for weekly playback TV streams uh, where you can watch the game with us, hang out, we chit chat, play games with you guys uh, during the uh, during the commercial breaks and all that stuff, uh, and watch uh, one week a game so far. Um, one game a week, I mean, geez Louise. <laughs> And uh, that's been a lot of fun, so be sure to check that out as well. Okay, a lot to get to today, so we just dive in with everybody's favorite game. What did he say? Oh. Oh. Bang! 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 Not a game. That's right, it's What Did He Say? The rules for this game are very simple. I will play an audio clip of an NBA personality, player, coach, or analyst. It will be your job, Justin, Bob, and Trey, to work as a team to guess who or what that person is talking about. Each correct guess is worth 100 points. In the event of an incorrect guess, I receive the 100 points. Four clips today. Are you ready to begin, team? I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Who is Stephen A. Smith talking about in this clip? Um, I think he was great. I think he deserves all the credit in the world. But he's not going to uh, divert our attention away from the big problem. Who is Stephen A. talking about in that one? Hmm. Hmm. It's going to be a lot of people. Yeah. Could he be talking about the All-Star game? Sure. And Jason Tatum? That's the first thing I, that comes to mind to me. Just because it just the, happened. Just happened. The All-Star game didn't seem... I heard, saw a lot of talk about it being kind of boring. I, and that I, they needed to change something. So I don't know if the All-Star game being the problem. So I don't, know, I don't know when he pulled it. It's a This Week clip, I'm sure. All of these were pulled uh, this morning. This oh. morning, okay. 
then that's what I would. Call it could it. be. Um, what do you think? I think it's Kyrie in Dallas. I think it's talking about addressing some issues that Dallas had, but hey, they still have Kyrie. I mean, would you like to hear time. it again? Yeah. Yes, please. Um, I think he was great. I think he deserves all the credit in the world, but he's not going to uh, divert our attention away from the big problem. Could have also been Jason Tatum's uh, 50, 55. Yeah. You guys keep going back to this. I think uh, I, have to, I have to defer to you too. I think Jason Tatum All Star game. Yeah. Well, yeah. he's saying he's saying Kyrie. Well, no, I don't think it's Kyrie uh, anymore. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't, okay. I don't, you I think don't it, you a, think it's All Star game? Yeah. Something. Mm-hmm. This is a democracy. Trend. So this is either gonna. I think it's either gonna be the Jason Tatum mm-hmm. scoring because yeah, he had a good game, but it's not gonna change that the All Star game isn't what we want to watch or we uh, want to watch it, I but see. it's not like yeah, that people. Makes... It's not what people wanted to see. Yeah, you know, it could have been a little more exciting. So I think maybe the Jason Tatum. But if you guys have anything else, nope, I like it. Or never mind. Let's New see. idea, Mac McClung. I also thought that and because having <laughs> to fix the dunk contest because none of the stars want to be in it. This is the answer. This is the answer. I think that's what it is yep. because the three point contest has the stars usually. Mm-hmm. The dunk three point contest, contest is fine. No one's mad do. about it. It yeah. is what it is. Let's, Let's go. go with Justin's. Yeah. D- uh, what was it? Mac? D- Mac. Mac. Mac in the dunk contest. Mac McClung. Let's see. Do you think McClung saved? Oh, wow. going with the Bob yep. gut. Good job. Well done, Good Justin. Job. Yes. Uh, last second, boy, last second swerve. I thought the Tatum thing might uh, might uh, dupe you there, but no. Uh, pretty straightforward. How are you? How impressed were you by Mac McClung's performance Saturday night? Um, I think the biggest, I guess, surprise, and it sucks that it's a surprise now, is that he just nailed it every time on his first dunk. Yes. There, there wasn't a matter of him. You know, us standing around watching, who was it last year with the NFT on his chain? It was oh, just right. like watching five missed dunks in a row. It's like, bro. <laughs> it was an abomination last year. It, it's it's embarrassing to wa- like to watch it. And so to like watch Matt come out and like, there was a lot of hype around him too because he was a big dunker in college as well. Um, I think just having a lot of hype around him was actually pretty entertaining. It was good. One step in the right direction. But with the dunk contest, it always feels like we're taking one step forward and two steps back. Yeah, the dunk contest, ooh. Wolf, he was great, but in general, it just feels meh. And with so many stars being like, I'm never going to do that. I'm never going to do that. Not going to happen. Not going to do it. Like, I think that, I don't know how you fix that. Also, if you're going to have more Mac McClung's out there, or how many are there, yeah, exactly. then maybe you don't need the stars. And even then we want to watch them in it, they would probably go do something crazy that they would miss like four dunks in a row because they have to feel like they're going to do something ridiculous. I think it's great. I think, you know, Mac McClung went out there, aced every dunk. He has... That's how I found out about Mac McClung when he was in high school. He was yep. throwing stuff off the backboard, doing yep. crazy dunks. Like, this is when when they said, "Hey, we're gonna bring a guy from the G League to be in the dunk cont- contest." I was like, "Yeah, kind of yeah. reaching." But um, when I saw that it was Mac McClung, I was like, "Hey, this guy could come out there and win it." And yeah, he did. So uh, I saw that he he, he won a hundred thousand dollars off winning the dunk contest. Mm-hmm. He's made a hundred thousand dollars. One hundred and six. Yep. Yeah, in the G League. So. Shout out to Mac McClung. Yeah, shout out to him indeed. Uh, so you mentioned it a little bit, Bob. Uh, he made every one of his dunks on the first attempt. You only get one chance to make a first impression. It is no matter what happens, it will always be less impressive if it takes you three attempts to do it. Yeah. Um. Sure. I, you know that is one of the reasons that I think Aaron Gordon was robbed in 2016 uh, with, with Zach Levine. Several of his dunks uh, in the la- in the like the dunk off, he had to do another. He had to do one a second or third attempt. Um, and I think Aaron Gordon, but that's neither here nor there. If you've been listening to the show for a long time, you know how I feel about that dunk contest. But uh, I was also really a big fan. Now, this could have just been because of the dunks, but I was a fan of not scoring every single dunk of 50. Yeah. Like, there they were 46s and 47s and 48s, but it, Mac McClung got the only 50-point dunk of the night. Mm-hmm. He get two? Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, maybe just yeah. two, but he was the only one to get them. Yeah. Um, and... It, it, it felt like the judges were fairly were were, were judging fairly inappropriately. Um, I don't know what the fix is for the dunk contest, man. I mean, you, I know you you keep going back to add a blocker, but without adding something that radical, I don't know how you get the stars in it. Stephen A. Smith, I do want to have I do want to get your guys' opinion on this. Stephen A. Smith went on uh, first take this morning and had a fairly uh, I don't know polarizing take. I guess you could say that he blames LeBron for the for the dysfunction of the dunk contest now because every star in the history of the NBA and every big name guy that's ever been in the league has always competed in the dunk contest and he's he was the first guy not to um do you, do you think we can blame lebron for the no. d- 
destruction of the dunk contest? <clears throat> I don't think so. Um, <clears throat> I think it's more so a matter of uh, it's my most boomer take I've ever had on yay basketball. Uh, social media actually is to blame. Hmm. I think. I think when, as soon as you have guys getting dunked on or can't finish a dunk or whatever in the dunk contest, biggest stage, millions of eyes watching you, and you don't perform you just get clowned on like guys don't want to feel that way like you we don't have the jaws and the zions i mean it, it's all a part of that social media wave and yeah you can pull up youtube and watch crazy dunks all you want yeah. all night and day jordan kilganon right he's never right. played a lick in the yes. nba he's yeah. never admitted the g league but he's probably maybe the best dunker on earth yeah what are your thoughts? yeah i don't think you can necessarily guess blame lebron but i i'm not gonna say it doesn't have something to do with it because yeah. he's obviously very influential yeah so it's players the same follow thing. his lead player empowerment is the same kind of things you go oh he didn't do it i don't have to do it so yeah. that's fine and so i guess you could make that argument i'm not i'm not gonna dog on lebron for it but i think you can go oh causation correlation situation because it's not just that the, that they're being like ah no nah, i'm not gonna do it like ant john ja morant zion all definitively like no no i'm not doing it who are probably the three best in-game dunkers in the league right now yep. ant had a had a uh, you know kind of comedic take as he typically does i don't want to dunk in a dunk contest i like dunking on people yeah which okay that's that's fair do you have a fix for this trey how you can change it is definitely getting the stars like Jaw, Zion. But how do you yeah. get them? Is it? I, I mean, it is a million you got, dollar pot. You got to give them a bonus. You got to give them. Hey, if you play this, here's a million the, dollars here's, cash here's in the money. middle of the court. Yes. Yeah, because I mean, these guys aren't coming. I mean, if you win it, yes, you win. And if you win it, you win more money. But like, there has to be some type of incentive because if they go out there and hurt, they hurt themselves. I mean, for it's, what? It's physically taxing too. Yeah, go out there that's a, dude. That. Even doing the three point contest, go out there and shoot. Yeah. 50 three pointers exactly in a row and then have to do it three rounds or whatever however many shots you have to warm play. up for an hour with dunks oh and <laughs> yeah. then go out and do it for two more hours is the fix not to get the stars but to get more mac mcclungs and then the the the, the prize is you get an nba contract you Ooh. cut all g league dunkers and then we give you a bigger contract and now you play for now you have to figure out Maybe yeah, your, day your, your G League call up is whatever G League team you play for. That franchise gives you a deal. You're on the fucking team. That's yeah, kind of tough though, because you know, I mean, if it, uh, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm running through it all in my like, head, and it would let's make sense. Let's be honest, sense, like but. the 15th man on the team doesn't play anyway, so like. Yeah, but I think the I know? think the 15 the 15th man on the Bucks is a lot different than the 15th man on the Rockets. You know, like it it, it would be it would be different. And granted. Sure. Playing time and all that and the, your role, sure. But I, I think, like, how much money does AT&T pay to sponsor the Slam Dunk Contest? Oh, AT&T? Glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> just, just make it make it a, another million. Put a million dollars cash in a, in a bowl in the middle of the court and go, winner takes that tonight. There it is. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I and, and, yeah, I mean, a lot of these guys, like, Jaws got an extension. Ant's going to get an extension. Zion's on big is money. Is a million even enough? Is a million enough? No. Yeah, I don't know. Is, don't it, is it, it a be. $5 million? And then that's outlandish, right? <laughs> but, I mean, what? Something's got to happen. $100 yes, Mac, million. Dollars. Ma, Stephen A. Smith said it, right? Like, Mac McClung's performance was incredible, but he doesn't take away from the bigger problem. So, all right. Uh, overall, did you guys like the dunk contest? I mean, the Jericho Sims thing was hard to watch yeah. oh tough he, Dude, he, he was doing the same it was like he was doing the same he was like all i did dips. one elbow what if i did two, <laughs> two elbows? elbows and now what if i showed you all on national television that i'm incapable of opening an envelope <laughs> real quick and 2014 not a um, not a fun fact or anything but just uh how we were talking about like fatigue and all that dude dame lillard did the skills contest three point and dunk contest Yes, in twenty fourteen, and he didn't win any of them, right? <laughs> he won the uh, skills. He right? won the skills. Oh, he did, he yeah. lost the dunk. No, I remember that was people. a big deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, Wait, that was fourteen sure. when that happened. Twenty fourteen. Gosh, that feels like time yesterday. flies. Yeah. yeah. Old. All right, good job. One hundred points to the three of you. Not what I need. Uh, dead, dead last year, but on to question two now. Who is speaking in this clip? It's an honor to be here. It's an honor to be a part of a, a great weekend, great players, but that is the worst basketball game ever played. Who? <laughs> speaking of that one. This is one. Uh, Mike Malone, Denver's, Denver Nuggets coach. Yep, that is the answer. 100% it's yep. that. I like that both times that you've confirmed your answer so far, you keep, you just go, that is the that answer. That is correct. <laughs> Let's see. Now, Mike Malone was less celebratory, fellas. Yep. Yeah, of course. Yes, that's right. Uh, okay, so we talked about the Saturday night events. Let's talk about last night, Bob. Thoughts on the All-Star game? Um, You know, so they made the change to the captains, what was that, 2015, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, no, 16? it was, it was uh, 17. Eight, they've been, this was the sixth yeah. year. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think... Uh, it's 
nice, you know, now that we've fully flushed out. Sorry, 2018 was the first. Okay, yeah. Now that we've fully flushed out this, oh, what if it was a play yard, you know, draft pick? Yeah. Sort of situation. We, we, we've flushed out this scenario in our head now. It, it's not like it's more exciting. It's not like it's a bigger product. Um, I think a lot of the comparisons between the All-Star game and the Pro Bowl for the NFL – no one gives a damn about the Pro Bowl. No one cares at all, essentially. So Justin and I were kind of having this conversation last night when we were on playback.tv slash basketball doing an All-Star Game stream. Check it out next time. Uh, and we were talking about, like, the importance of the All-Star weekends or games or whatever for each of the four major sports and how we think that the NBA takes their All-Star weekend or Pro Bowl or whatever the most seriously. Yeah. It's a huge event every year. Um, and... I feel like they dropped the ball on this, this one. It's 24 of the world's best basketball players. You should be able, you, you go there and you watch the 24 best basketball players right now. But what you get are layup lines, essentially. Yep. Justin. Two ideas. One, I think get rid of the captains and let's do draft lottery. Hang on. Oh. Everything. Yeah. We're going to do draft lottery and randomly that's going to randomly so assigned. So not, about, not back to conferences. Randomly Not assigned. back to conferences. Okay. Randomly assigned. And then instead of all of them playing the entire game, right? So maybe you would have to have two captains and then it's randomly assigned. The captains will decide teams of three. And those teams of three will play a quarter apiece, three on three to 21. You win the most quarters, you win the game. That's getting a little bit, that's getting a little bit out there, but I don't hate it. Trey? I think it's the best, should be the best, f- or best five West players starting, best five East players starting. I don't want to get back uh, to conferences. You don't want to do that? I, no, because, I mean, yes, just made a good point earlier. Parity is at an all-time high right now. Like, yeah, I feel like it's fairly balanced, but let's just take a look at who the starting five in the East and the West would be. You've got Jokic, Luka, Steph, LeBron, and KD mm-hmm. against who out of well, the no, East? Well, no, KD was an Eastern All-Star. Okay, okay. If it was aligned, let's say they made the change for next season to go back to it. Yeah. Probably what Steph, Luca, LeBron, and 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 Jokic. So I do, I do get that because if one, if one conf or division is, you know, stacked, it's going to be, you know, yes. it's not going to be as competitive. What about the Eastern All Stars? They'd be. It'd be what Mitchell, Embiid. Mitchell, Embiid, Giannis, Tatum. Tatum. It'd be a good game. It'd be good, but it like. I mean, okay, go ahead. So I, I don't know. I think that I mean, what I was seeing last night was a game of no defense, just a bunch of playing around. Yeah. It's it's not fun to watch. Uh, they definitely need to change something. I don't know. They need to give incentive because that's the only thing that's going to get anybody to do anything. Well, they do give this whole charity bonus, and I like that. But here's here's what I keep going back to. I mentioned this to Justin a lot over the last twenty four hours. If LeBron. Giannis, KD, Steph, and Zion are in that game. It's a completely different game Mm -hmm. because we've seen that the last five years. LeBron gets LeBron was competitive from the jump. He goes he goes and has that block against uh, SGA on that dunk attempt where he hurts his hand and doesn't end up playing. (laughs) Well, to be fair, she was like LeBron's not playing any defense, and then I go up for a dunk and he plays defense. So like I guess yeah, whatever. You know, hit and miss. Regardless, he he was he was. I mean, you know, that's what always happens. That's what's happened for the last few years. But last last season, ends on a game winner. The season before that, ends on a game winning free throw. Season before that, one possession game. Season before that, two possession game. They've been close games except for this year. And what's the difference? Steph, KD, LeBron, not in the game. Those are your. Those are the three, not going to put them in order or anything, yeah. three of the biggest stars in the NBA yeah. who carry the mo- whose names carry the most weight. And like we said earlier, lead by example. And those guys not being in the game affected it a lot. If LeBron is in that game, it's a completely different story because they that's always what happens. The first three, the first three, the first three quarters are a dunk contest. It's a layup line. It's all fun and mm-hmm. games and they're hanging around and you get the you get the one bright spot out of last night's game, the Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown thing, which was a joy to watch. Yeah. But then fourth quarter comes, and regardless of the score, it's lockdown time. It's let's play. And Le- and uh, and Bede and Kyrie were doing their best to make it that. But it, it just it was just too many, and even even Tatum. I mean, Tatum scores fifty five points. He deserves a shout out. Obviously, breaks the scoring uh, scoring record in the All Star game. But man, I think that if I don't I don't want everybody to overreact and panic because I like the format. I I can do without the drafting on stage after seeing it. It's got to go faster. That's that's also, our biggest. The, it did take seven forever. concerts, dude. We don't need a show oh, yeah. before. We don't need a show before. Uh, we don't need four songs from Post Malone before the game starts. Kill me. Two national anthems, uh, and then like a twelve-song halftime show, and the LeBron thing. Which the LeBron thing is not. LeBron outlier. thing had to happen, and it won't happen again. Yes, but, but you can't do all of that. It was four <laughs> freaking hours, dude. The problem, you know what it was, right? 
It was Post Malone. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I thought you had a reason for that. That's New hate all. list. Yeah, Post Malone. Post Malone. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I I typically, you know, I, I posted this on our Instagram story. If you're following along us on Instagram, uh, follow us at yay underscore basketball. I posted this on the Instagram story. You know, what do you most look forward to at the All Star Weekend? And everybody, you know, people were saying, oh, well, what's your fondest memory? And the people said this and this and that. My favorite thing is the All Star Game. I love the All Star Game. It's one of my favorite moments of the whole season. Last night was really disappointing. Mm -hmm. And I think, I mean, when when they said at halftime LeBron wasn't coming back, I was immediately like, oh man. Because I knew, A, first of all, I want to watch my favorite player, one of the greatest players ever, if not the greatest player ever, compete in an all-star game. And B, I knew it was going to result in it not yeah. being as competitive. Because if Giannis and, and, and LeBron are in that game, it's a completely different story. We're not talking about this like this. For sure. So. I, I'm with you. All right. 200 points to you guys. Uh-oh. On to question three now. Who is speaking in this clip? And who is this person talking about? I mean, like I said, I give him his credit as a basketball player. You know, um, he's a really good, probably one of the top five point guards, right? But me and him, when we're when we on the same court, not the biggest fan at all. So, um. <laughs> Who is speaking in that one? And who's that person talking about? Ooh. So I noticed the live audience at the end. I think that's the hint here. Yeah. Because there uh, was a whole thing with J.J. Redick and the Pelicans players. Remember when they were sitting up there yeah. live? So the guy who's speaking. Oh, okay. Oh. Is Juan Alvarado. Right. Close. Or, uh, Jose. Jose. Jose Alvarado. <laughs> One of them. Jose, Jose Juan. One of them. Uh, Juan. One of them. <laughs> so, yeah, Jose Alvarado is going to be my guest on who's speaking now. The point guard that, he, that he's talking about. Um, their point guard is go off king you know it bob knows it. i mean i know it. cj was on the show with him i don't he could be talking about cj but i don't think he's he's not a point guard so no he's talking about ja uh, Ja's been bob knows it why are we wasting yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's cp3, CP3. Oh, yeah. yeah it's going back to their little rivalry yeah seriously though <laughs> what's up with you and chris <laughs> yep Yes, 200 you. points to you. It's Jose Alvarado Teamwork. talking about Chris Paul. Okay, so we went over this a little bit last week. We, we didn't really dive into any uh, playoff permutations and how things might line up, but let's just say that we get this matchup in the postseason again. Suns versus Pelicans run into each other. I think at this point it's maybe safe to say that the Pelicans get the home home court advantage in that series, but who knows with Kevin Durant going. You know, he's still going to be injured for another few weeks. Uh, let's just say the Pelicans are the home court advantage. Who do you have winning in this series of the Suns and Pelicans, Bob? Um, I think, uh, I mean, it's tough. Uh, I, I think the Pelicans just don't have the playoff experience, whereas the Suns do. I think the Suns, I, the Pelicans right now are great, but they're not going to get far in the playoffs. So I think that they will make a team go to seven games. I think the Pelicans will make the Suns go to seven and have to work really goddamn hard to beat them. So I think it goes to seven, but the Suns edge them out barely. Gee. Um, yeah, I think the Suns can beat the Pelicans, um, <laughs> but I have no faith in the Suns. Um, just been embarrassed too many times. Uh, like it's embarrassing the last time when they had to play the Pelicans, and then obviously Luca bought their franchise. But um, I don't know. I yeah, if the, if the Pelicans get home court, I could see actually the Pelicans maybe winning, but I don't think they'll get home court based on the standings right now. So. Suns are gonna sweep the Pelicans. Ooh. Pelicans have nothing. They're wow, golly, that's crazy. Run this back. If the Pelicans and and the Suns play, dude, the Suns are gonna smoke the Pelicans. <laughs> like, no chance. Four games. Wow. Okay. See well, ya. we we do have that on wax. See ya. On wax. Um, your soul. I'm gonna go the opposite <laughs> way. Uh, you know, we when we talked about the Suns trade, we said. What's the one thing that the Suns gave up? You have to for Kevin Durant, but they gave up a lot of depth. Mm -hmm. What is the Pelicans' biggest strength? Depth. Uh, if you, no one in the world can guard Kevin Durant, and outside of Kawhi Leonard, who's one guy in the league you want guarding him? Herb Jones. Uh, Herb Jones is, looks like he was designed in a lab to guard Kevin Durant. He's one of the best defenders in the league. Now, granted, LeBron, at 38 years old, and granted it's LeBron, made Herb Jones look like a like a kitchen chair last week when they played. But still, uh, I mean, Kevin Durant and is is at least going to have a body in front of him that can be competitive defensively. Uh, they don't have an answer for Zion. They don't have an answer. If for he – put like what – or if by the playoffs he'll be fine they'll, sure. they'll be okay they, they're they're doing this very strategically oh zion's now injured well oh wow brandon ingram's fine now here mm -hmm. he comes they're gonna be fine 
they, they'll both be healthy by that time. They have depth. They've got probably two legitimately very uh, competitive variations on their starting five that you could run in the NBA to still probably make the playoffs. I like the Pelicans, and I do agree it goes seven games. But yeah, the Suns would win this. It's Kevin Durant. We were I was going to say, and the Suns honestly, like depth wise, match up. I think they have just as much depth as the Pelicans. Because I mean, wild. Pel- I mean, the Pelicans have Disagree. Josh Richardson and Dyson Daniels and Najee That's Marshall. That's the other the, thing is they picked the, up Josh Richardson, who is since he's been traded to the Pelicans, is averaging five steals a game. Okay, that's crazy. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know that. It's only been a three, four, three or four game sample size, but no. he's he's averaging like five point one steals a game or five point five steals a game. But the, like that. the Suns have Damian Lee, who's an uh-huh. amazing three point shooter. Okay, but the amazing Warriors didn't. Warriors didn't trust Damian Lee. But they gave him away. But he's Why and look what he's doing this year. He's playing better than he ever played with the Warriors. Clutch time. The only person shooting that ball is probably going to be Kevin Durant or Booker. They got TJ Warren, one ish Wainwright, who I just mentioned, yep. is, has the highest yeah. defensive rating. Like Darius Baisley, who they picked up, like they got death. I don't the think the Suns are going to smoke the Pelicans. They are going to. They, <laughs> I gonna, do think they'll the, win, but the I don't Pelicans think it's going to be. Gonna, the, I don't I'll think be, they have a chance. I'm not convinced the Pelicans are still making the actual playoffs. Yeah, I was going to say, let's see gonna if gonna they even make, make the playoffs. playoffs. They're in the seven seed right now, and they're half a game out of nine. <laughs> they may not make. They're going to make the playoffs. They're a game out of ten. They better get Zion back. But then they got to go in the play-in, so anything can happen in the play-in. All right. Question four now. <laughs> 400 points Same. to you guys. Jeez, I need these points. Who is Nick Wright talking about in this clip? The fact the of the matter is when he was at his peak, there is real value in his relentless effort in what he gave you on all phases of offense, even if it was inefficient, because he ate up so many possessions, because he pushed the pace, because he put constant pressure on the defense. Who is Nick Wright talking mm. about in that one? He's talking about Russell Westbrook. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, sorry. That is the answer. <laughs> that is the answer. Let's see. The previous iterations of Russ were underrated. Yep. Yes, of course. Wow. Oh, zero points for me. <laughs> Good Russell game, Westbrook <laughs> will be bought out by the Utah Jazz and intends to sign a, de- sign a deal with the Los Angeles Clippers. Also on the buy, uh, buyout market news, Kevin Love got bought out by the Cleveland Cavaliers and intent- and has already signed his deal with the Miami Heat, which is a bigger signing. It's Russell Westbrook, <laughs> and I don't even think it's close, okay. actually. Okay. Um, I think K-Love, great man. Um Cool. You went to Miami. What do you? They don't need like a stretch four there. Like they've got enough length. Their defense is fine. Like I don't, I, rotational big men. Like they're not dying for Kevin Love. I don't know. I just feel like this sign. He 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 just wanted to retire in Miami. I think that's the only reason he signed there. Justin. Um. I think I do think the bigger signing is Russ. I think Russ will give the Clippers more than Kevin Love will give the Heat, and that's really the only reason. I I'm. I, I'm not a big Kevin Love fan, but I do think his shooting can help the Heat uh, because the, Bam's got the defense kind of uh, it's rough to say like locked down, but like that'll be fine on the big end. Um, but Russ gives the Clippers what they need, which is going to be a lead guard, and he's going to play great for that for them because they're going to let him be Russ because Kawhi Leonard plays off the ball a lot, Paul George can play off the ball a lot, and Paul George played his best basketball next to Russell Westbrook. Is he the starter in LA? He will be. I believe you think so. Why, I, think, well, I, I think mean, so. like, there's no, they traded away all their guys. Uh, sure. Uh, Russ is definitely the the best signing in that uh, between Kevin Love and them. Uh, shout out to Steve Ballmer. He's been out there making some crazy moves. We're talking about depth. I mean, not crazy moves, but they're making depth moves. I mean, they picked up Bones Highland. They picked up Mason Plumley, and now they just picked up Russell Westbrook, which they already have Norman Powell, who's a great player. Um, they have Paul George. They just, oh. And they got Eric Gordon out of mm-hmm. Houston, so yeah. I mean they're they're adding some pieces that will help help their depth. So yeah. um, definitely the Clippers with Russell Westbrook signing is the bigger sign. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely bigger. But uh, uh, I don't think that the love the the love to Miami thing is nothing. Uh, can you name another big man other than Udonis Haslam and Bam Adebayo in Miami? 
Yeah, yeah they, but, they've got that rookie or like. But who's your center know. now? You know what I mean? Like they well, move, they move Bam to your power forward. No, Bam, Bam is the starting center still. Kevin Love does not. I just start. saw the depth chart that they said, and they said that they have Kevin Love as a center. I thought I could have read. I wrong. can't imagine that they, that he's going to start game. I would be shocked if he started games. You got Cody Zeller and you got Omar Yutsevin. That's well, right. Cody Zeller and is Orlando a Robinson. Who's a two-way player? Yeah. Kevin Love does stretch the floor for them, and that is what they need with their bigs. Because Bam's having a down shooting year. Uh, Omer can shoot it, but he doesn't really get the time to shoot it. Um, and I don't necessarily think this is on Steve Ballmer. I think it's more on Michael Winger, the GM of the Clips. I, I, I the Clippers are scary. They now have the fifth highest odds in, uh, according to Vegas, to win the NBA title. And I don't know that I disagree. Um, Golly, man. Uh, the Clippers, you're right. Eric Gordon, Russell Westbrook. <laughs> what a roller coaster. Bones fucking Highlands. Bones Highland. What are That's we a talking huge about? This, this, depth, this Clippers team is built for the playoffs, man. And it is so scary. They got Nicholas Batum. They bet. really need to get their chemistry in order because Kawhi had like a four-point game recently. He had zero points going into the fourth quarter at one point. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, they wow. need to figure it out, and they need to be able to They need to be able to count on those guys, but they have a f- squad. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've what, done this. Yeah, totally. yeah, it was like high expectations, nothing. High expectations, nothing. And then now here we are now, again. Same high season, expectations. high expectations. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. All right. Wow. Well, we finished that game. 500 <laughs> points to zero. Brilliant. All right. And that means... It's time for Bob's Buckets. Hi. It's me again. Hey. Thanks for joining me, everyone. It's me. I'm the Bob, it's me. <laughs> and today I've got some buckets for you, okay? <laughs> now, this all started off with the All-Star game and I had some pretty funny ideas, but then eventually I just got to the one that we always go to, which is improving the All-Star game, a la Bob's All-Star Weekend. Uh, oh, okay, I like so, it. So if you come to my All-Star Weekend, this is what you're, uh, what you should expect. I'm excited. Number one, a full-blown carnival. Um, I want cameras in on all the mach- like rides and stuff. I want to watch grown ass men, superstars in their own right, riding roller coasters, bumper cars, playing that rigged three point contest where like the hoop's actually an oval and not an actual circle. Okay. And then even a strong man competition too. I think that'd be a lot oh, of fun. Oh, Steven Adams wins. Yeah. Uh, number four, I want a real world style home for the weekend. So the players have to live together for those oh, four days. Yeah. <laughs> And they have to film. They must film one-on-one confessionals. Every like, day. Yeah, like, just like yeah, the real yeah. world. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my God. How cool would that be? Uh, number three, just release a live bull on the court in the middle of the three-point contest. Oh, okay. I liked it until then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one you need zero explanation for. That works instantly. Uh, but, but could the all-star players take on three teenage? Oh, three teenage uh, black male bears. teenage black bears? Probably. Yeah, that would be a lot of fun, okay. too. Uh, number two. Play horse, but with a different five-letter word. <laughs> Grass. I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> what is the word? <laughs> There's a lot of different interpretations you can take with that one. There are lots of five-letter so, words. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll think of a good one. I'm about to do a random word generator to figure it out. And then finally, a bring your son slash daughter to work style all-star game. <laughs> I, I want Deuce Tatum getting yeah. dunked on. <laughs> LeBron just <laughs> yes. swatting it. Uh, I, I want Bronny James posterizing Chris Paul Jr. Like, I want all of these things to happen. Swaggy P sign out there. Yes! <laughs> yes, bro. Uh, Whatever his name uh, is. S- what was his name? Oh, man, I can't believe Ooh. it. I love Lil, Lil Swaggy. Lil Swaggy. They just call him Lil Swaggy. Right. Nick Young. I imagine Gilbert LeBron James looking back at Deuce. Just, like, like, <laughs> <laughs> just Deuce running down the court trying to dribble it. Just shit out of it. He tried to take a charge from LeBron. Flagrant. Yeah, yeah. Take, taking charges. Yeah. In the hospital. He's taking charges. LeBron under fire for <laughs> dunking on a seven-year-old. <laughs> however old he is. I don't know. I don't know how Deuce is. Anyway, so that's how I'd improve the All-Star game. I love I love the real world thing. I think that yeah, one would stick. Be because think about it, they're all millionaires. It's a billion dollar corporation. Make it a make it like a, one of the craziest mansions in whatever the city is. Yeah. Make Build it like it. Build it. Yes. Build it. They can build it easily. Get out of here. Build an all-star compound compound yeah. where every year the, the all-star game is there. Build a huge mansion. It's gotta be somewhere there is no <laughs> NBA thing? Yeah. Here. Do it here. Yeah. Oh. Build a huge mansion. <laughs> Leavenworth. All the ga- <laughs> Oh, it is February, Bob. <laughs> There's nothing oh. out there. 
<laughs> anyway. All right. Those are good buckets. I like. I really like the real world thing. Yeah. That would be so much fun. Why yeah. is there not like a... Because it's just like Dame or someone just like in the confessional is like pissed off at like someone for I'd the dumbest it. shit. Like LeBron <laughs> drinking his milk. You know Jokic what? doing a confessional. He's like... I don't really like doing this. Uh, I don't want to be an all-star anymore. Can we just get back to the season? <laughs> I am averaging a triple-double, and I do not care. Gian- Giannis just has his brothers over all the time, and everyone's like sick and tired of them just like, <laughs> trashing the yeah. house, too. They're all getting in fights and stuff. Yeah. That's a good idea. I like that. Giannis just pushing over ladders everywhere. Yeah. Oh, okay. All <laughs> right. That's a, th- that's a throwback. I like it. Okay. Well, we're roughly, I mean, we're not halfway through the season. There's only like 23, 24 games left, but it's kind of in the mind of everyone that it's the halfway point of the season when the All-Star Weekend rolls around. So that means it's time to revisit some things that we did once upon a time. And that means it's time for Bet Your Soul. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Bet Your Soul! I am your host, the Devil! (laughs) After a thrilling All-Star weekend, the second half of the NBA season is upon us, and it's time to make some end-of-season predictions, and take a look back at some of our bets from the preseason. But are you confident enough in your new predictions that you're willing to bet... your soul? (laughs) Bob! Before the season, you said that the NBA MVP would be one LeBron James. That I did. <laughs> Why? I'm gobbling that soul up, brother. <laughs> uh, how do you feel about your old pick, and what's your new pick? You know, I felt good around... Uh, by the way, thank you again for joining us, Devil. Huge fan of your work. I'm um, always here. Anyway, so... Six of God. I, I thought, you know, LeBron getting the scoring title... I, I thought that maybe reinvigorated potentially my bet your soul pick, but I don't think anyone's actually going to vote for LeBron for that. So my new one, it's probably Jokic. So I'm going to probably bet my soul on that. Okay. Betting your soul on Nikola Jokic. Probably Jokic, yeah. Okay. Justin, you had Giannis before the season. Kind of up in the air. Yeah. Might be, uh, might be snatching that soul from you. <laughs> you might be keeping it. Who's your new pick? So does the new pick reset the bet? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I, I I still feel good about the honest pick because it's, it's close it, as close as anyone else is. Uh, but that new poll came out like seventy seven percent have Jokic, so I just feel like they're gonna give it to Jokic. So I'm gonna probably uh, I'll go with the wave here and just go Jokic. So you're you are jumping ship on Giannis for Jokic because I think they're gonna. D- no. No. I'm sticking with Giannis. Give me that soul. <laughs> Trey. Lucifer. Good to see you again. <laughs> How uh, you doing? Using my given name, I see. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. First name. I government you, name. Oh, we know each other personally. <laughs> uh, before the season, uh, you had John Morant. He's current. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead and say it. Uh, he's current. I'm going to be diving into that soul. <laughs> yeah, he's hmm. currently sitting at ninth. Uh, on the leaderboard? Uh, uh, for basketball reference, I'm looking yeah. at right now, he's sitting at ninth and for the MVP <laughs> tracker. It uh, looks like you will be taking my soul, and Indeed. it looks like I'm going to be jumping ship. Uh, I I think Nic- Nicole Jokic should win it. He's averaging a triple-double. Um, with that being said, uh, with him winning it the last couple years, I think Joel Embiid's going to snag it from him. So hold on. I'm, dro- <laughs> I'm dropping ship. You're gonna steal my soul, but I- you're going Joel Embiid over Nikola Jokic. Put your soul on the line. It's already there. Yeah, I'm putting it on. Uh-huh. Let's go. Embiid. Embiid. Wow's well, uh, Michael. What's go- <clears throat> what's going on, Devil? Not a lot. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, before the season, you also had John Morant. Yeah, not proud of that. Uh, yeah, I kind of just was. I mean, if I'm be honest, I was just kind of. <laughs> Make some content, but I guess I'm selling my soul for that. <laughs> kind of did a long time ago. Well, what's your new pick? Mm, I'm also going to go Jokic, yeah. I've been bullish on this the whole season, but it, I don't know how it can't be him. If he averages a triple-double in the first in the West, which is what Justin said for about a month and a half before it happened, I was always like, yeah, I mean, yeah, if, it ha- if that happens, sure. 
But I didn't think it would, and now it looks like it's going to. So you can have my soul there, Devil, but I think Jokic is going to win MVP. Thanks for the soul. On to number two, Bob. Before the season... <laughs> Do you see what I wrote down for the deal with? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this one's a little tough because, you know. Um, before the season, <laughs> you had the Houston Rockets as the biggest surprise team of the year. Surprise, they suck. <laughs> yeah, you didn't say what kind of surprise. Gotcha. No, you did. Because when you were when you were doing that, I specifically thought you were making the pivot to surprise. They're going to surprise everybody at how bad they're going to be. And you never did. I didn't know. You didn't know. No. You, you were like, oh, they got young guys. Oh, they got pieces. They might bobbity bobbity ba. And, and respectfully, Basil Bub, I did think that, yeah, they can be fun and surprise you with just a couple fun, you know, games. Win, win a couple fun games. Well, I of all the souls I'm collecting at the end of the season, that one is the juiciest. <laughs> oh. How many do we have? So who's the biggest? Uh, who's the biggest surprise uh, for you so far? Oh God. Okay. Yeah. So far. Um... <laughs> All right, my surprise team now is actually the Clippers. I was not high on the Clippers for a long time, uh, but these trades and the changes, they're the biggest surprise so far this year for me. Um, originally, I did have the Jazz, though. Like, surprise, they actually are the worst team, and they're going to surprise us all and get Winbang Yama. Winbang Yama. <laughs> Justin, <laughs> you had the Wolves. Yeah. It How felt so good. Team? Not great. Uh... But cats hurt. I'll blame it on that. That's you know what I mean. That's an outlier. So they've been playing better since he's been gone. Yeah, uh, he's hurt. So <laughs> that changes things. Just um, giving for my for my soul, not munching goodness. Munchy, munchy, munchy. But you already, I already lost one. Do I have multiple souls? I'm just saying it's a collection. Am I a, a cat? A like what is this? Soul. Nine lives situation. Yeah. Um, my new team. Surprise well, yeah, it's team. The biggest surprise. The Chicago Bulls being so damn bad. Ah, uh, the 11th Dude, nice. place in the Eastern Conference. They're the biggest letdown. Yeah, woof. From like so great last year in the regular season to so bad. Wow. Oh, remember all those trades they were supposed to make? Oh, oh wait. No. <laughs> what? Got them. You know what I mean? They didn't do a dang thing. <laughs> Trey, you, you had the Pelicans. I did have the Pelicans, and they are currently sitting seventh in the Western Conference. Uh kind of where they should be at not really a surprise to me um if i had to choose a new team uh it would be the new york knicks who's currently sitting six in the east right now um they're currently on a three-game winning streak uh jalen brunson has been playing amazing uh that's my surprise team julius randall also julius randall yeah yeah, so it would look like you were going to keep your soul on that one for a little bit uh, yeah. because the Pelicans were the three seed, then they were the two seed, and then they were the one seed, mm -hmm. then back to the two, then back to the one, then back to the two, then to the three, then the four, the five. And now they're all the way down here with me. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, Ion. Thank you. <laughs> they're all the way down here hanging out with me. It's very hot. I... Michael. Yeah, let's get to it, Devil. Bring it on. Yeah, you feel confident about this one, don't you? I do. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's right. You had the Sacramento Kings as your preseason surprise. Ooh, I sure did. <laughs> yeah, you can keep your soul on this one. They are currently the three seed in the West. How do you feel about it? Yeah, I mean, I knew uh, I knew what was going to happen. I, forced, I foretold it. I saw it. I said, Island of Misfit Toys. Look out for De'Aaron Fox and Demonis Sabonis being potential all-stars. I said, look out for, uh, for uh, Keegan Murray. I said, look out for Davion Mitchell. I said, look out for Kevin Herter. I did mention Matthew Delavadova in there, but we'll move on from that. Um, <laughs> I was about to mention that. Yeah, we I did. Like... I did talk about Matthew Delavadova, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, Mike Brown's got this team clicking on all cylinders. I don't need to change my pick. I'm sticking with the Kings. They are the biggest surprise of the season, I think, by a lot. Did anybody have the Kings? I remember saying the Kings, and people were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. "I may have backed you." I think I, maybe a little yeah, bit. I was to say, I, I, I didn't. these two didn't. I, <laughs> didn't. I can't yeah. confirm this. <laughs> I, I don't I'll know. say this. It's still early. They could fall apart. You cannot lie that they are the biggest surprise of the season. No, They'll make they the playoffs. Apart. Even them making the playoffs is you, a surprise. Right, but if they me. drop four games. Okay, let, here, let's you know let's I mean? say they True. let's if they if they let's say they miss the playoffs completely. Sure, not even the play in. Uh, yes, completely miss the playoffs. Not the, not even the play in. Them being the three seed at any point in the season is the biggest surprise of the season. Probably. Okay. Come on. Yeah. I'd argue the worst. I agree. Winning See, record on I the road. They have winning record on the road. Yeah, they're they're great. They they're play well. prolific offense. Anyways, all right, uh, Devil, you take it away. Bob, me. <laughs> That's me. 
before the season, you had the Warriors winning the title. You sticking with it? My other option was the Charlotte Bobcats, but I'm going to go, yes, I am going to stick with the Warriors <laughs> to win it all. What? All right. <laughs> um, I still don't think healthy seven-game series, I think they beat anyone in the West. And when it, there's a rematch in the finals between them and the Celtics, I'm looking forward to it, man. Celtics got better. Warriors just kind of uh, stayed. We've had some drops, but I think we can get back to where we were last year in the playoffs. So, Justin, you had the Bucks before the season. Are mm -hmm. you sticking with your pick? Oh, yes. Only a half game out of the first position. They're on a 12-game winning streak. These guys look good. I know Giannis is a little banged up right now, but who cares? He's going to be healthy. They're going to win. He is going to New York for further testing. Who knows? You know that they're going to protect that asset. I mean, he's definitely not getting traded there, so he's going to still win titles. He's fine. Okay. Trey, you had the Sixers. Sixers, yeah. To win the title. I I still have I still have them winning. Wow, you're sticking with that. I'm sticking with the Sixers. Uh, we will have to see about these at the end because we don't know yet. I mean, right now they're... They're on a one, two, three, four game win streak. Wow. Uh, they've only dropped to Orlando, New York, and Boston in the last ten. I, dude, with Embiid, the way Embiid and Harden, the way that Embiid and Harden is playing right now, I don't. Watch out! I think they beat Boston in a seven game series, and then I don't know who comes out of the West to play them. But it doesn't matter because the 76ers are going to win. I just can't it. believe the 76ers would beat the Celtics, man. They are. I don't see they that. Will. With the way the way that Harden's uh, distribute distributing the ball, yeah. then you know if you if you have Tobias come and can drop twenty, uh, even a couple of those games. And the MVP, according to you, yeah, MVP Joel Embiid. You know he's mm -hmm. all right, Michael. Yeah, Devil. You had the Grizzlies win the title. <laughs> yeah, I did. How do you feel about that one? Well, not too freaking good. Uh, <laughs> You they know, they they're they're okay. Yeah, what are they, the two seed in the West? Yeah, you know they're a few games back, but uh, come playoff time, no, they are gonna get if they run into the Suns. <laughs> you want to talk about a sweep? That will be a sweep. Uh, they have nothing for any of their offensive weapons uh, other than Dylan <laughs> other than Dylan Brooks throwing Devin Booker on the ground. That's about one second. So get. so the they would get swept, but the Pelicans won it. No depth. Well, I, they, they both, they both have they both have depth, but I I no because the 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 Suns don't have sorry the Grizzlies don't have a player that the Suns don't have an answer for, and the Pelicans do. If Zion, which is completely within the realm of possibility, averages thirteen and er, thirteen thirty and twelve or something, I they, there's nothing that can be done with Zion from the Suns' perspective. For sure. Fair the, the Grizzlies don't have that. They they That's are right. deep. They are skilled. But my big issue with the Grizzlies is their fourth quarter half court offense. They don't know what to do. We mentioned it last week that Luke Kennard might help, but he's not the <laughs> no. savior. Uh, like he's not going to make them like uh, this prolific no offensive team. Now I they need to figure that out because if it's not, if it's not a full court offense, the Grizzlies are stagnant, and that makes me nervous. If I had to switch my pick, which I'm going to, I'm going with the Celtics. Uh, I was kind of bullish on the Celtics before the season. I was, you know, there's a lot of drama kind of surrounding them, injuries. We weren't really sure. The Celtics look like a machine. And we mentioned this last week. They don't have Marcus Smart. They don't have the the reigning defensive player of the year playing for them right now. Uh, and Jalen Brown's going to be out for a little bit. I'm sure they're probably going to give up that number one seed. But brother, <laughs> tell you what, the Celtics are an animal. So, all right. Thanks for hanging out, Devil. You're welcome. It was so good to be here. Bye, guys. Thanks, Devil. See you later. Uh, that brings us to Trey's oh, yeah. Fact of the Day. Give me one second. <laughs> all righty, guys. So, we've already talked about it a few times today. Um, one Jason Tatum scored 55 points the other night. Uh, set a record for most points in NBA history for an all-star game. He also is the only player in league history to have a 50-point game in a regular season game, playoff game, play-in game, and all-star game. That's crazy. So uh, oh. with what Michael just said, Celtics could come out here. I mean, if the way Jason Tatum's playing and, you know, that showdown that Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown had the other night, if those two players are playing like that, and if you have Big Bob down low that – not not Bob over there, but you know Robert Williams playing. Uh, I don't know what that is. Playing down in the <laughs> playing down in the paint, dude. The Celtics could be crazy, and Marcus Smart's been out, and they've been playing yeah. absolutely incredible. Has so, Tatum made the leap? Tatum has definitely made the leap. Leap uh, to what? Is he a, leap to maybe know, is when he, it, is he a top five player in the NBA? Yes, you have to. Yes, yeah. 
Yes, I think 100%. so. Give me five players better than Jason Tatum right now. Giannis, Jokic, Luka. No. Kevin Durant, Embiid. No, not Kevin Durant right now. <laughs> Disagree. Oh, no. <laughs> Disagree. And just, to, and just to show uh, some love to LeBron, he set the record for most NBA All Star games played with 19. Yeah, got to show love. He, to LeBron. Yeah, you're right. Good point. He did. He did tie Kareem with selections, but most games played in the All Star game. Yeah. Cool. So good. Yeah. Good uh, fact there. All right. Thank well, you. let's get to our final game of the day, which is going to be NBA Password. Ooh. That's right, it's time for everyone's favorite game show, NBA Password, with your host, Michael Padilla. And here he is, Michael Padilla. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please have a seat. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. No, please, please have a seat. Shut up! Thank you. (laughs) Sick of these people. Uh, uh, thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Today is the day that we play NBA Password. So if uh, uh, if you're unfamiliar with this game, I'll explain how it is played. The idea is word association. Uh, we will all be given a random NBA-themed word uh, or phrase. The goal of the game is to have your teammate guess the password by only giving them one word clues. The teammate will then have to guess the password via word association. Justin and I will be on a team, and Bob and Trey will be on a team. That goes until the correct uh, answer is guessed or until the guesser gives up. Quick wrinkle, if the password is a player, you may not identify the team they play for. Okay. So no team names, no city names. So, for example, if it's LeBron, you can't say Lakers or Cavs or L.A. or anything like that, right? Uh, no team or city name. So each correct answer is worth 100 points. Is everyone clear on the rules? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, just because the way this is set up, Kyle, our good old buddy Kyle, uh, made the passwords for today. And Bob and I will be going first. Um, let's say, uh, Trey, you want to think of a, uh, why don't you, why don't you think of a number? And then why don't you set, the, well, you set the range, Justin, and you think of a number. Okay. What's the range? Wait. What's oh, the, the range, range for the, the number? So we know who goes first. One through 30. One through 30. I got it. I'm going to guess 26. I have to go 25. It was 15. Okay. Yes. All right. So you get to go first. So you are giving to Trey. This is giving so, so I don't. I don't it's uh, giving Trey. What? Don't look at I don't it. have anything pulled up. You don't yeah, pull okay. up? You oh. don't pull anything up yet? Okay. All right. You got the clue up, Bob? For round one. Round one. Yes. One word only. Blocks. Current players, right? Or mm-hmm. anyway. Um, well, it could be anything, right? Rudy Gobert. Mm. Abbreviation. Triple J. Oh. Yes, my yep. boy. Yep. Oh. Yep. Yes. Absolutely. Good job. A 100 points to Justin and I. Okay, now, Trey and Justin. Click onto the round two at the bottom of your t- of your sheet there, and you will see the clue for your round. Uh, we got to go second, so we go first this time. Justin. Giannis. All star captain. Prize. Um, charity. Sorry, just to be clear, did you say prize? Okay. Interview. Here, uh, uh, MVP. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. <sighs> award. Award? So we've got award, prize, Giannis. Um. Previous MVPs. Okay. No. This is tough. Quote. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is 
just it's one word, oh, right? Oh, I got you. Or it's mm-hmm. it's like a it's it's not a phrase, is it? Ready for this handoff? Oh, okay. It is. I kind of changed my idea of it. Um. Boy. I. Uh. Final? No, you said. What did you say? Finals MVP? Oh gosh. Or previous. You MVPs. said former MVP. I'm gonna say. Uh, Taylor Rooks. I don't know. No. Twenty one. gonna guess I don't know Rihanna oh man <laughs> no. I don't know if they're gonna get this oh, one dude. yeah that um one. let me think interview 21 prize award 21 quote quote oh movie Wouldn't make oh, any sense. Jump shot? No, no, I thought he was about to say it. Oh man! All right, Trey. Um, I don't NBA term. Okay. Blackjack. Third. Oh, um, is he? Did he want league expansion? <laughs> Is that what it's about? No, that was a terrible one for me. Sorry. Okay, give me uh, one more. Terrible. I feel like I was close given Trey's Four. reaction. Supper. What? <laughs> Fuck Kyle. What? <laughs> Supper. Supper. I have no earthly idea. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Jump shot. No, jump street. I don't know. You got a guess, Bob? One, uh, do I get one more? I'll give you one more. Um, I doubt it's going to help. <laughs> I, yeah, I don't what say, I think I gave it, giving away all the... Uh, I, I'm exhausted. 21. Blackjack. So it's Vegas-based? No, it's... Movie. Quote. Interview. Movie. Giannis. Busting my ass. Sunrise. This uh, that's terrible. Uh, what was his uh, fuck. last chance? You or something? I don't know. Like, well, no. I on, honestly, this is ridiculous. No. Okay, we don't know. This. We're gonna we're gonna award yeah. zero points. Zero what, points. What so Giannis winner, winner. interview quote winner winner chicken dinner the movie twenty one twenty one movie. Oh, I see where you guys are going with that. The password was winner winner chicken dinner. Yeah. Okay, I have a huge bone to pick with Kyle about that. Uh, <laughs> Giannis just said it later. when he won the, they gave him like, the award. He was like, winner, winner, chicken dinner. He's like, okay, we're yeah, fighting. Yeah, I guess. All right. He made it hard. Goal well. was NBA, ter- NBA terms, but heard. I guess it applies since he said it. Okay, uh, wow. Um, all right. It was rough. I'm not, it was hard. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, Imagine yeah, being now, us trying to give clues. Now it makes get- sense. Sure. Uh, okay. <laughs> Jeez. All right. Uh, Bob, round three, you start. Oh, actually, since you started first the first time, yeah, then we I went, went we'll, first. we'll go. You go first. ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All yeah. right. Okay. <sighs> okay. 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 Alternative energy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Just think. I have to potentially call a foul. That's two words. Yeah. Okay. It's a. All right. No, let's allow it because I've. Yeah. And also, yeah. and also, we got winner, winner, chicken dinner was that. Okay. So go ahead. All right. Everything's out the window. Alternative energy. How it could apply to the NBA. Um. 
I don't. I have no idea. So NBA app. No. Last Saturday. As in this past Saturday. Okay. Um, Kyrie Irving. <laughs> that is uh, alternative energy. Okay. Keep in mind the first one. Uh huh. Keep in mind his one. Uh huh. Mac McClung. Oh. Keep in mind the first one. So then. Dunk contest. No. Where does alternative energy fit into that there, there, Justin? Oh. <clears throat> I'm at <in> loss. <sighs> um. Mini golf obstacle. <laughs> Good one. Uh. White man can jump? I like the answer. <laughs> Uh, rotation. Mm. Oh, Windmill man. dunk. Yes. Oh, yes. man. Good job, good job, good job. Oh, <laughs> Alternative oh, energy. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right. Good one. The windmill's on like every Damn. golf course. All right, yeah. let's get it moving Jeez. here. So uh, Justin and Trey. So ju- Trey. Uh, Justin gave first. So Trey, so we're on round you four. give okay. first. You're going to round four. Steals. Tyrese Halliburton. I'm guessing that's incorrect, right? No. Okay. Yeah, sorry. No. Assists. Stockton. Oh, my God. Yep. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> Damn, he, <laughs> Heck he yeah. Damn. That. All right, Bob, we got it. I got you. 300 points. Thank All God right. I needed these. <laughs> Me too. All right, round four. So now, Bob, Wait, you round are... five? Five, five. yes. Yeah. Round five. Round five. Okay. Alrighty. All yeah, right, Bob. You you're going, He's going Bob's going first. <sighs> this one might go quick, Trey. All right. Kawhi. Laugh. Mm, not a bad guess. <laughs> <laughs> Rest. Clippers. No. Trey, you got this, okay? Got this. God, that was a really good one, Michael. I don't know how I could have done it better. <laughs> I know, that was perfect. Sorry. Right. What? Okay. <clears throat> this is a problem. That's the hint. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> don't. He's like, no more. When you when you think of, don't think of that one. When, when you come back to me, don't think of that. <laughs> don't think of that one. Though. Oh my gosh. Well, well, I know he's played like shit. <laughs> A bar. He only dropped four points. Uh, oh, fuck. Um. Rest. That was his. That was the clue. Oh, that was oh, so what? What's the word I'm looking for? You're right there. You're right there. Man, it's on the tip of my tongue, and I can't even think of it. It's. I'm thinking of. Uh, oh, when you. I'm gonna give it to him if I keep saying it. I think he knows. I know it, but I don't know term. how to say it. It's a term, and it's. When you like are resting, but you're not playing. <laughs> oh oh my thing. god! I can't think of it. We need to guess. Ah, uh, it's it is. Got uh, three more of these. It mm-hmm. is um. Nursing. I can't think of it. You're gonna get it. Injury report. Load management. Oh my god! Yep. That was it. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, bro. I knew you I had, had it. that. I, I that knew was you it. had that. That was literally dog. it, and yeah. I couldn't think of it. I knew yes. you had that. Fuck. All right, round six. All yeah. right, round six. Who's giving first? You. Me. Go. Point guard. Oh, 
trying to think in Kyle's mind. Steph Curry. Trio. Hmm. I think it's Drew Holiday. Boom. That's what I was Let's trying to go. I was debating yeah. between that or the other as one. As soon as you said put yourself in Kyle's mind, I was like, all yeah. right. It's, that option. It's, it's, it's Drew Holiday. Good job. Good job. All right. Round seven. I'm giving last one. Wow. <laughs> only, wait. Wait. <laughs> He's there, like, eight okay. Huh? Is this is a little... seven? Huh? Round seven? No, no. Oh, no, sorry, not last one. Oh, last one for seven. me. Get you, go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is going to be tough. Okay. I'm just going to set the stage for everybody to get everybody in the right <laughs> right mindset. WNBA. Okay. Sue Bird. No. Judge. Diana Tarazi. Good guess. No. Oh my God! How did? No way. Okay, think of those two things, right? So the first one sets it up. Uh huh. I guess I can't really do this to you, but okay. L.A. Sparks. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you know, because she's important. Brittany Griner. Damn it! No. Oh, that's who I was thinking. Okay. Judge. Yeah. Um. I don't know if it helps. Uh, USC. USC. Judge. <gasps> First thing that comes to mind is Lisa Leslie. <laughs> Lisa Leslie. Oh, let's go! Who would guess that? Who would guess that? Who would guess that? That's All wild. Right, Bob. That's wild. Yeah. Who would guess Who that? The first thing that comes to mind is Lisa Leslie. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Good. Yeah, you, hey, hey, yeah hey, you can have that. Hey, I was never going to get that. Hey, I hey, honestly, my, I next, only... my next clue is going to be alliteration. That was also going to be my next one. Nice. Yeah. Good job. All I right. was honestly about to okay. say Cheryl's. Last swoops. round. Uh, oh, Cheryl's Trey, you're Trey. giving first. Uh, yep. Last round. All right, let's go. And this has got to go fast, mm -hmm. folks. Lakers. Kareem. New edition. D'Angelo Russell. Eight. Is it really Hachimura? It is not. Um, tournament. <sighs> hey, only think about mine. Jared Vanderbilt. Playoff. Hmm. <clears throat> As in one singular playoff. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're wild, bro. Is it the bubble season? No. Oh, damn it. Uh, is that? Does no? No. Um, <laughs> ten seed. Oh, playing? Yeah. Mm. He kind of yeah. said the word. Wait, we'll give him that. You said tournament. He, he said tournament. Oh, that's kind, of a, that's kind of a foul. You said play. Off. Mm. Playoff is one <laughs> word. Said, playing is I two said words. Playoff. But no the word points. Play, no right. points awarded on that one. Okay, uh, that right brings on. us to <laughs> props to you. <laughs> Hey, bud. <laughs> All right, another exciting episode of Props to You. As the points shake out right now, I am in first place with 4,150 points. I have elected Joel Embiid's over at 31 and a half. I'm going to bet 150 points. Trey. Yes. You are in second place with 3,550 points. You've chosen Jokic is over at nine and a half assists. You have... Yeah, 3,550 points. What are you betting? 
I'm going to bet 500 on 500 that. big ones. I've got Bob. 3,475 points. You are in third place. Donovan Mitchell's under at 26 and a half. What are you betting? Oh, okay. I got to do this. Give mm -hmm. me uh, give me 1,000. Michael. I'm betting it all. Well, 1850 it all. on is. Triple J's over two and a half blocks. Perfect. And if you listening or watching at home want to keep track of all of our game picks as well as chat with us, ask us questions, give us game ideas, hit the link in the description of this episode to join our chalkboard group chat. It's a fun, free way to support the show. As always, be sure to like, subscribe, rate five stars, share with friends, and follow us at the underscore basketball on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. Add me on the groove. <laughs> and just a reminder, we are recording live from the A studio. Do it live! I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live! Bob, what you got for the people? Michael, thanks for another successful February. Oh, wait, we have one more. Damn it. Okay, well, almost thanks for a successful <laughs> February. <laughs> You're welcome, Justin. Wizards Watch, we're in ninth place, and we're going to keep going. Nice. Trey. National Comfy Day. Who cares about oh. President's Day? Oh. Comfy? Stay Comfy, stay, oh. stay cozy, my friend. Why friends. didn't we wear sweats today? I'm a big comfy man. Oh. Stay I'm, cozy, gentlemen. That's what they stay call me in the streets, big comfy. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching and listening and following along. Hit us at the link in the description. Chalkboard, playback, all that stuff. YouTube, big video coming soon we're excited about. We love you. Don't forget. Yay, Talk basketball. Yeah.